Africa. Um, the GDP of Lagos is actually bigger than the GDP of Kenya, it's bigger than Ghana, it's bigger than Rwanda, and um, it's bigger than Senegal, right? So, so as, as a little sub-national, it's, um, it's, it's actually very big in, in, you know, in how it stands, in how it sits, you know, and it's all of that conversation that we think a lot of people need to know what is happening in Lagos, you know, and how we can use the Lagos story, you know, to sort of like tell the African story, you know, and be able to put it, you know, into where it should really, really be. You've just established the Lagos International Financial Council. What are you seeking to achieve with that? So the whole idea, right, is for us to be able to let the world, starting with London, you know, because we've got a lot of history, you know, with, with, with the city of London, get them to know what is happening in Lagos. But the council will set up strategies where we can handhold um, companies, we can handhold British companies, we can handhold, you know, um, investors, you know, foreign direct investors that want to come into Lagos. Let's know what are the red tips. What are the things that they want us to do? Regulatory framework, legal framework, you know, what kind of permits do they need to have, what kind of approvals they need to have. So the council will going to set up structures, you know, where communication and collaboration will happen. In seeking to attract international investment into Lagos, what are your priorities? Which are the sectors that you're most keen to expand? The tech industry is very important. You know, for the past three, four years, Lagos has remained the tech startup capital in Africa. So there's still a lot of depth that we need to bring into that space, right? The financial services, yes, there's a whole lot of, you know, um, and financial products that still needs to be deepened you know, in, in that sector. So we want, you know, to see a lot more international financial organizations come into Lagos, right? We want, you know, the creative industry to also have a play in, in our economy. Then, of course, um, general and um, consumer products. Because of the population we have, we believe, you know, anything indeed could, could, could have a market. You know, you could have your own share of the market, you know, um, petrochemicals, you know, consumer products, you know, any of those three, four areas will indeed do very, very well in Lagos. It sounds so from what you're saying, so the economy is very, very services focused. Pretty much. And reason being, we, we're just a little tiny space. You know, we don't have that much arable land for farming or for agricultural products. But we can do very well because of the population in terms of services, you know, technology, you know, um, communication, IT, infrastructure, anything around that space. One of the problems that Nigeria has had historically is holding on to its talent, stopping those people from going to work overseas. Is that still an issue for you? Are you finding it easy to retain talent? Well, it, it's still an issue, you know, but, but that's why...